Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today we're going to look at the future perfect continuous tense in negative sentences. Now let us contrast it with Spanish. The structure goes as sujeto más will más the negative más have been más el verbo continuo ando endo más complemento si este aplica. Cabe resaltar que por ser una negación necesita aplicarse en este caso. Yo no habré estado trabajando en este restaurante por 10 años. I will not have been working in this restaurant for 10 years. No habremos estado caminando en el parque por una hora. We will not have been walking in the park for an hour. Now that you have seen how to form the future perfect tense in Spanish, let's check out the English. The structure is as follows. The word have or has depending on the subject. Then, subject plus will plus the negative plus have been, the past participle form of to be, plus the verb ending in ing and the complement if it applies. Please remember, we typically use the future perfect continuous to indicate an event that may have started in the past and it will continue until a specific moment of the future. It is necessary to include expressions of time. Also, one of these two uses. Visualize the continuation of the actions or a specific moment on the future. The other option in the second one is the to infer consequences. Here are some examples. I will not have been meaning to phone Kim ever since I heard she was back in the country. The event will not have been taking place since 2020. The people will not have been saying that the old factory should be shut down. Just like with the present perfect, your biggest challenge will be to understand when to use has and when to use have. Congrats! Now you understand how to use the future perfect continuous in English. Good luck.